Whilst the pandemic has generated significant challenges for many entrepreneurs, it has created new opportunities for others. Business partners Gary Giles and Alan Watts believe they're perfectly placed to capitalise on the recent growth in home working. Right now I'm feeling a little bit nervous if I'm, if I'm honest about it, but at the same time I'm raring to go and we just want to do something positive for the world. Oh, I like it. Like a Lego set. Gary and Alan's product isn't child's play, but it might make it big in the world of construction. I think it's potentially revolutionary for the building industry. I know a couple of the dragons are particularly keen on recycling, and I think we've got a product that ticks boxes that very few other products do. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, Dragons. I'm Gary Giles, founder of Orgel. And I'm Alan Watts, head of production. And we're here seeking a £50,000 investment for a 5% share in the company. So, what is Orgel? Well, it's a rapid building system that takes waste like this, turns it into L's like this, which we then turn into anything from a humanitarian shelter to a garden room like this. Building with Ogle gives you lots of advantages over traditional build methods, particularly its ease of use and its speed of assembly. Now, I'm going to build part of the wall while I pass you back to Gary. Let's be honest, we're all addicted to plastic. What we've done is built something here that is 80% waste material. Recycling needs a hero, and its name is Ogle. While Alan builds the wall, um, if you like to open your boxes, we have some little samples. An easy-to-assemble construction system with planet-saving potential is the offering from Gary Giles and Alan Watts. If you pull out the other piece, the, the yellow piece, that's on the floor, and then match the yellow to the yellow. Who are seeking £50,000 in return for a 5% share in their business. I think Sarah won that one, you know, <laughs> if, 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 if you're going to make it a race. <laughs> can, you, can you cut that, please, from the tape? <laughs> An ultra-competitive Peter Jones may favour some judicious editing, but when it comes to a money-making opportunity, Tej Lalvani always demands the full picture, and he's first with the questions. Alan. Gary. Hi. Hi. Well, it looks like what you've created here is quite interesting. Can you take me through the process of how it works, how you collect the waste, where you collect it from? The material is, is, is waste polystyrene. The waste comes from several different sources currently. Your TV, your, your, your fridge. When they deliver now, they have to take the packaging away. That goes to a recycling plant, and that's where that material generally comes from. So, well, look, I mean, the construction industry is shouting out for sustainable building materials. So, what is the cost versus the standard materials? Cost works out cheaper. Is this compared to a brick system or yeah? Yeah, compared okay. to a brick system. Right. Because a square metre of, of double skin with, with insulation in the middle of it is, is about £180 a square metre. That will sort of work out of, as, a, as a sale price roughly about £140. That's a good start. Yeah. Gary and Alan appear to have devised a sustainable and cost-effective alternative to bricks and mortar. Now, Sarah Davies wants to discover more about the pair's plans to convert their big idea into big bucks. Guys, I think it's wonderful. OK. So, have you come in today with a, this is our business model, we've got a plan, Yeah, we've got this a plan. is what we're going to do, or is it a case of you coming here and saying, we've yeah. got this awesome product, we kind of need to know the best way to take it next? The garden building market in the UK is worth over 100 million. Companies are looking to have their employees at home, OK? This is a solution. And is the model that you'll go out and build it for them, or is the model primarily you want to sell them as kits ready for people to build their own? Personally, I think it's a, a, a DIY product. I feel quite excited by that, because I think that opens the market up a lot. Alan Gary, first look, I think it looks ingenious. Yeah, yeah, we, we think so. Right, <laughs> that's good. I'm pleased that you're proud of your product. 
But what other products are out there that are 80% recycled? I, I, we know of no other recycled building, um, anything like this. And have you got the patent on how this comes together? Yeah, we're at the uh, sort of, um, national stage of, 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 of patent. We have three very small objections, that's all we're dealing with now, with the European patent office. Yeah, small objections can become big ones, though. We filed it against those objections last week, but um, we have the, the letter there if, if anyone wants to have a look at it. I'd actually like to have a look at it yeah, while sure. Peter's talking to you. Sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. I love what it solves, um, and also the application. It looks really, really good. But there's one dragon that's got very good experience in this marketplace okay. that I would like to listen and hear before I decide to invest. Sure. But okay. the initial reaction is very positive. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to tell you where I am. The principle of this, I think, sounds fantastic. But can you see a future where the production of polystyrene reduces and we start using alternative sources, which then kind of is a issue yeah, for no, this? I, I yeah, no, I accept what you're saying. I mean, over the years, there's been lots of alternative packaging come up with, but polystyrene packaging for certain things is still the best mm. method of packaging it. The ingenious bit for me is actually the recyclability, but I'm afraid you're talking to a bit of a purist because allowing us to produce more and more polystyrene and finding an end use for it doesn't stop the use of polystyrene. You know, in fact, recycling in about five years' time will be a, start being a bit of a dirty word yeah. because all the talk is about stop producing the stuff. You know, it's... it's so, so there will be supply issues and that will knock its selling point out as far as I'm concerned. So I'm really sorry, but I'm, I'm not investing. I'm out. An unanticipated blow for Gary and Alan, as the den's doyen of sustainability predicts the demise of polystyrene, the raw material around which the pair's business revolves. Will tech titan Peter Jones share her analysis? Alan and Gary, I started off by saying I think it's ingenious. I'm finishing by thinking it's ingenious. But I've also really listened to what Deborah was saying as well, and I think that really makes sense to me because I'm in that sort of world of the technology and I see the televisions and we see the, the packaging already diminishing yeah. almost monthly, yeah. which is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to wish you well on your way and say, sadly, today I'm out. Alan Gary. Great idea. That, that we've established. But at the end of the day, I, I need to know whether your product is, is commercial. It might be a great idea, but it might be crazy priced. So ideally, this is for garden sheds or outer buildings. What would this one cost? About, about, about 12 grand plus fat. How much? 12,000 plus fat. To me, it sounds expensive. OK. And I think the real issue for you will be the fact that not a lot of people are going to pay out £12,000 for that, OK? Yeah. So, I'm not going to invest and I'm out. Thank you, Tony. Further disappointment for Gary and Alan as two more dragons join Deborah Meaden in declining the deal. Sarah Davies has been scrutinising the pair's all-important patent application. So is their invention protectable? Right, I've had a good read through and I actually feel really comfortable that you're in a good place with your IP. Good. Um, okay. The great news is I absolutely love the product and seeing the patent gave me the confidence that you have the foundations to build a, a really successful business. So I will make you an offer and I will offer you all of the money for 10% of the business. OK. An offer for Gary and Alan. All of the money, albeit in exchange for double the 5% equity, they were originally looking to give away. Is Tej Lalvani prepared to match or even better it? So, guys, I think you've definitely got a very interesting 
product. And where I think I can help you is the consumer aspect. Yep. And I build consumer brands for a living. Yep. And so I'm willing to make you an offer. Okay. I'm going to show you all of the money. Mm -hmm. 50,000 pounds for 10%. Okay, thank you. Go and talk to our wall. Yeah. yeah. Talk to your wall, see if it talks more sense than the brick one. <laughs> <laughs> it's decision time for the construction entrepreneurs. You can either ask if they want to go together, mm. or you go with Zara. The next few moments could prove pivotal for the future of the business. You're both great. I'm not going to argue about the percentages, but would you consider going half each in it? Because you've both got something to bring to the table. I think you're right. Between us, we have different skill sets in different areas, but both with the same consumer focus, so I'd be willing to do that. Tej? We both have um, areas that could complement mm -hmm. in the business. So, I'm happy to share. We've got a deal. Fantastic. Great. Thank you. Great. Excellent. Awesome. Well done. Well, Very yeah. exciting. Oh, good luck. Thank, thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Pumps. <laughs> Success for Gary and Alan, who leave the den with the £50,000 they were originally seeking. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I think they're quite pleased. And the support of a duo of dragons with the consumer expertise to elevate their building business to a whole new level. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit emotional, actually. It's like, it's like... I could tell that. <laughs> I think today it could be a complete game-changer. The sky's the limit. <laughs>